I really see this as a continually developing thing. Um, you know, I, I think that it's important at least once a year to refer back to what you've collected before, uh, to update it. I mean, look, because you know, self-awareness is something that's just going to continually unfold in layers. And so things that you thought you knew about yourself or things that you thought you valued, those things might shift a little bit or, you know, you come up to deeper understanding just because of the experiences of your life or, you know, things that uh, you just hadn't had the opportunity to, to bump up against or, or, or have, uh, you know, show themselves all of a sudden it's there because of an experience, uh, you know, maybe a hard experience or triumph that you have. So, you know, this is something that I'm always updating um, and I'm trying to refer back to very, very often. And it's, it's, in a way, it's kind of a moving target. You know, it's not like it's always, it's not like it's going to all of a sudden veer off into left field on you and, oh, the person I thought it was, I'm actually somebody, I mean, it's, I think it'd be pretty rare to have that kind of a shift, but um, it is something that I, I think would be very normal for it to be, to be shifting around and thus something that needs to be top of mind all the time, um, both in the discovery of it as well as the leveraging of it. Because essentially what you're doing is you're constructing a, a, a form of filter. I would say it's two things. It's like a filter and a compass. It's a compass that can point you towards those things where, again, you will have maximum results and growth and fulfillment. Um, and it's also a filter. I mean, we have so many opportunities and ideas that come at us and, and people continually vying for our time and our attention, um, it's just not possible for, for any individual to say yes to everything. I mean, I think that anybody listening can understand that, especially in a productivity summit, you know, that at some point you have to focus and pick and choose. And I find that this authentic best self definition, which can it be everything from, you know, very specific, like, like one piece that I have is like, you know, 10 statements about I do my best work when, and it's like, here, here are the 10 factors or habits or, or circumstances under which I operate best. And so let's say an opportunity comes to me and I'm kind of sitting on that fence about whether to say yes to it or not. And I, you know, I really want to say yes because it looks like it could be fun or interesting. Um, but I know that, you know, saying yes to one thing means saying no to a lot of others. So often I can refer back to my authentic best self collection and it might be again, a, a past journal, um, entry or, or, or results of an assessment or something that I just pull out of there and it might be a reminder or that aha that it's like, yeah, you know what? Last time I said yes to this kind of thing, I realized this. And so this time I might want to say yes, but with this, um, you know, making one tweak to the approach or, or no, you know what? I, I remember, I'm remembering now it didn't go so well last time I put myself in that kind of a situation. And so I'm going to remind myself to, to choose to say no to that kind of opportunity. So um, thinking of it as, as a continuously evolving thing that you refer back to and then use as a compass and a filter, even potentially on a daily basis, but I'd say at the very least on a monthly quarterly basis, it's something that should be referred to.